After listening back to this video today, I realized that the one thing that you guys are probably all going to be thinking as the video progresses and you're going to start commenting saying, no, it's all about the money, Buffalo. You've got the wrong idea here. This definitely isn't the way the bigger YouTubers think. Maybe sometimes money does come into things. Maybe sometimes people do upload videos just because they think it's going to be a pretty good video that's going to earn them a little bit more money than, say, a regular commentary. Yes, that does come into things, but the acronym that we have in the title of this video, AIM, once you progress with this video and realize what I'm actually talking about, you will surely understand that these three things, they do come into play as well. But I'm not saying the money is just completely irrelevant, because it is relevant. But just bear these three things in mind. Let's get into the commentary. So what is up, Pimps, Hoes, and Buffaloes, and welcome back today to another video commentary. And I can safely say that I am feeling very, very good. I've had a couple of days away from YouTube to pretty much think about everything. And for those of you that were curious, me and Amy have actually got back together as well, which is pretty awesome. So I'm feeling very good. And I've got this motivation to make this video today from another video that I watched this morning. We'll get onto that in a moment's time. But the gameplay you guys are going to be watching in the background is a 60 and one multi-team kill confirmed gameplay on the map Cargo, I'd like to say. It was a while ago that I got this gameplay and it was one of those games which could have been so awesome but for one tiny moment. I was one kill or like a kill and assist or something like that very very close to getting myself three swarms in one life. That would have been absolutely epic for a gameplay but unfortunately I got stuck reloading. I was stuck behind a cargo box and then I got killed. It was one of those frustrating moments, but still, 60 and 1. I'm going to take that sort of scoreline any day of the week. But moving on from there, and let's focus on the title of this video and the acronym that we do have within the title, which says AIM, or AIM. It's pretty simple. And these three words stand for appreciation, inspiration, and motivation. You're probably thinking, where am I going with this, considering I'm going to be talking about the bigger YouTuber's mentality? And I want to get one thing straight before we actually really get into more of the depths of this commentary and looking and sort of breaking down those three words that I said at the start. But basically, what this is all going to be about is trying to tell you guys that the bigger YouTubers, they're human beings. They are no different to us and no more superior just because of their subscriber base. Subscriber base doesn't really mean anything. At the end of the day, we are all content creators. We all strive to do as well as we possibly can. And a lot of the hate that actually comes and stems towards big YouTubers, it comes from the fact that people are jealous that they can't actually do and be as successful as this person. The whole real motivation and inspiration to do this commentary today came from watching White Boy 7th Street's Cribs video that he uploaded earlier on today or yesterday or something like that. I watched it this morning and I just thought to myself, wow, first of all, you can love or hate White Boy. I personally... I enjoy White Boy's videos. No one's going to take that away from me. There's no one saying that, you know, you can't like this person because I don't and all of that sort of crap that goes around on YouTube. But one thing I noticed from White Boy when he was doing that video is he genuinely appreciates what his viewers have made possible for him. He was saying how years ago, a few years ago, he didn't really have anything. He wasn't really living in the nicest place. And over time, creating videos on YouTube and just the desire to make videos and to keep bettering himself... He has now ended up with a pretty goddamn sweet house, I can tell you that for a fact. If you haven't already seen the video, and you're a content creator, or anyone who just wants to watch an entertaining video, I suggest you go and watch White Boy's Cribs video, because you could tell, as he was saying, sort of, you know, thank you to everyone for making this possible for me, without you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't be living in this house today, I wouldn't have been able to afford this house today. It's true, the bigger YouTubers, just because they've got lots of subscribers, and it may not seem as if they respond to many comments, and it may not seem as if they really care about what the viewers have actually made possible for them, they are still human beings. They still feel the same appreciation as, say, someone like me with just below 6,000 subscribers gets when I get a nice comment from someone. It's just a great feeling, and of course, you cannot really do anything in life without appreciating what people have done in order for that to happen for you. And I'm going to move away from appreciation and talk about inspiration. And in terms of the bigger YouTubers mentality, inspiring people, it must be an absolutely awesome feeling. I know that people have said to me, even with 6k subs, are just under that now. I keep saying I've got 6k when I really don't. It's getting close. Inspiring people is amazing. When someone sends, leaves a comment or tweets me saying, your videos have inspired me to start creating content as well. I actually always follow those people. I always say to them, It'd be awesome to see what your journey is going to hold for you. I want to see what you can do, considering you said that I've actually inspired you to do something. And these bigger YouTubers, they do this on even more of a grander scale. When you look up at the likes of White Boy, again, I'm going to use him as an example, Woody, Syndicate, whether or not you love or hate these guys, at the end of the day, not only have they been inspired to do things either from themselves or from watching other people as well, but these guys are inspiring people left, right, and center. And I genuinely believe when you listen to these people talk, that they actually really do appreciate the fact that they are making not only their own lives better by what they're doing, but they're making other people's lives better as well. And it's just a great, great thought. And, I've, I, you know, I don't even know if I'm ever going to be a big enough YouTuber to be able to affect a large group of people in any way, shape, or form. 
But you know, the more I think about it, the more I just think that it would be a truly amazing thing to happen. And moving on now to the last thing, which is motivation. And bigger YouTubers' mentalities in terms of motivation, again, it's like the inspiring thing. They can motivate people to want to do more things. And you can see when White Boy was doing his Cribs video, that not only was he happy with what he's got, but he was also highly motivated to keep on bettering himself, to keep on producing videos. He was saying how he wants to do a gaming setup video, but he wasn't going to make it into the same video as the Cribs video because there was so much to do. He's always thinking ahead. He's always thinking, right, what can I do now to entertain an audience? And I'm not just talking about White Boy. I'm talking about all big YouTubers in general. No one's going to settle for what they've got. Some people may say that, right, I've hit a million subscribers. Now I can quit YouTube. I've conquered the YouTube world. It's time to move on to something else. I don't know, sewing or some other stupid random <laughs> hobby. But no, YouTube, you big YouTubers, they are motivated by the viewers to create more videos. It's a simple thing. And I know that I've sort of blabbed on for a while now about this acronym that I just thought of on the top of my head, but hopefully you guys understand the message that I was trying to portray within this video. The bigger YouTubers, they are no different to us. They make videos and they continue to make videos for the same three reasons, the appreciation of what people are giving to them, the inspiration from others, and the motivation in order to be able to carry on. That is what makes people keep creating videos. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please don't hesitate to leave it a like rating. It really does let me know how my videos are being perceived by you guys. And as well as that, we've had a great weekend and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Peace.